Good day mga Kabayan Techers, this is Sherta Kabayan Tech and today we are going to recover True Tone for iPhone 13 without the original screen using JC brushing method. But before we begin, most of our viewers are not yet subscribed, kindly take some time and click that subscribe button. And if you are one of my subscribers, thank you very much. We have here an iPhone 13 with the latest OS and when we go on to display and brightness, True Tone is not showing up. So there is another method besides removing your NAND on an iPhone and that is what you call the brushing method. This is available for a JC V1 SE, Wi-Fi, JC V1 S Pro. You could use that brushing method. Make sure you do have the daughter board that will read the screen. You need the desktop to do the brushing method and also a cable that connects that reads the actual phone when it is unbinded. So the first thing that we're going to do is connect the phone to the computer. And let's go to the computer screen. Once you are on the computer screen on the JC software, we're going to go to read phone or read information. It will read the serial numbers and all the serial numbers for the different parts. And on the right side, you will see it's still bound. Make sure that you have downloaded the latest iOS version that you have that is signed and you can install. And also make sure that you have 3 tools for us to restore the iOS later on. So when we click on brushing, it will give us an option on where the iOS information is. And once you go through with the folder on where the iOS is safe, then you click on continue. Then this will take some time. And then once the brushing is finished, it will go on to the recovery mode on your phone. Once you go onto your recovery on your phone, switch the app and go to 3U tools and do a quick flash. Once that one is done, when you go back to your JC software, you will see on the right side before it was bound, now it is unbind or unbound. When you click that link on the right side, it will show you the parts that, that you can copy to a different flex or a, a different tab on. In this example, we are going to recover the True Tone. And then we connect the JC V1S to the computer and we could recover the True Tone information from there. So you have a USB, USB A to Lightning and connect it at the side of the JC V1S Pro or V1 SE. And then the other part is to connect the phone. And once you connect it, you just click on Trust then click on fix. It will try to grab the information on the phone and it will show up the unbinded information. Once you have this information and the phone is still turned on, all you have to do is to remove the display and then you connect it to the daughter board. So in this case, it's the 13, 13 minute. Once you connected it, then you click on write. And then once you click on write, it will ask you, are you writing the true tone on an original screen or a third party screen? So we're going to do a third party and it says display MTSN. Select third party mode, writing True Tone MTSN data. And once it's done, it will say True Tone Write Success. And all you have to do now is to take out the screen and then disconnect the cable and then let's disconnect power. Make sure that the front flex cable from the original screen is also installed on the screen so that True Tone will pair up correctly. And then let's power up the phone. Let's double check True Tone now. You will see that the True Tone is now activated. And when you also go on to your settings and then display and brightness, it will show the True Tone. So initial thoughts and concerns. So let's just make it clear that this phone originally didn't have the original screen anymore. Yeah, there is a third party screen that was installed and there was no True Tone that was transferred. So this is the purpose of the brush method. Because a lot of people will tell me, why won't you just transfer the IC if I had the complete uh, screen or the original screen and that would be easier. So two concerns that I want to address. One is procedure, because when I was watching different videos from YouTube and also from JC, they have different procedures after the brushing method on the software itself. Your procedure might work on your end and my procedure might work on my end and vice versa. I'm not discrediting or invalidating those procedures that they did. I'm just rounding up the procedures or the possible procedures that I could do on the brushing method and try to apply it on my own repair. Next concern would be compatibility. When I tried to revalidate this, my procedure that I showed you a while ago, I used another JK screen. And unfortunately, when I tried copying it or restoring True Tone, it will say, right fail. And I was thinking, what other ways can I do to transfer the, the, or the True Tone from the third party screen that I did from the initial video and transfer it to that JK screen? So what I did is I did the usual one where you copy the third party to another third party. It did copy it, but when I tried to put the JK screen on the iPhone 13, 
the True Tone doesn't show up. So I emailed JC support and asked about information on why it happened. They say that they have specific third-party screens that are compatible with specific daughter boards that they have. But probably as per what they said, it could be that the EEPROM was changed or the firmware of the chip on that third-party screen has been updated and it's not compatible anymore with the brushing method or the True Tone recovery. I am aware that there are some screens that are not capable of doing True Tone. So let's take that one out onto our discussion. So now I will take this one as a win initially and we'll do more videos to revalidate the procedures for the JC brushing and stay tuned. And that's it mga kabayan techers. If you have any repair requests, kindly write them down below. If you like this video, hit the like button. And for those who have not yet subscribed, click the subscribe button. And again, thank you very much and have a good day.